And that's what took the Titanic's down, not the top part, right? If iceberg was all you could see on the surface of the water, then it wouldn't be a breeze for that kind of a ship to hit it, right? So obviously we know that iceberg has a bigger part, which is not visible. So do we. We also have this body, which is similar to the visible segment of an iceberg. But we too, like the iceberg, have thousand times bigger powers that is not visible, and we must. Why? Is it something we're rambling on and I expect you to accept it? Or is there actually another power within us? Maybe we can ask somebody to help me to go a little bit further into it and actually see that, if that's true or not. Someone bigger than me. Maybe you can come up and help me out. Would you come and help me out? Okay. In order to see if there is anything more to us than the physical power, we're going to try an exercise. It's going to help me to see if we can demonstrate that. So what I want to ask you is that put your hand here, yeah, okay. and put the other one here, and gently try to bend it according to the, uh, my elbow. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to resist him with my, with my physical power, tip of the iceberg, right? Okay. So <coughs> go, <coughs> go. Oh, okay, okay. Obviously, he can. And takes a lot out of me. But is there another way? Try. The same way. Go ahead. Go ahead. So is there another, go ahead. So is there another way? If I can talk, and he can do, keep going, when you're ready. And he can keep, simply do things, and I can have my tea, or maybe I can have my water. Or I can just pay attention and just relax and focus on bringing back, back and forth, as I wish. You okay? Yeah. All right. So we can see that there's something else at work here. Because first, my physical abilities is not equivalent to his. But if I click into some other things that is out there, then we can maybe realize there's something more to us than that. So can, we, can you help me with another sure. exercise? Sure. Okay. Law of physics says that when you're bigger, you're supposed to be able to easily lift the smaller. Okay. Right? Yeah. No, no, it's okay. You, you, without you, I can't do this. So what I want you to do is put your hands underneath my arms uh -huh. and just lift me up. There we go. Okay, now, that's my physical part, right? Mm. Same thing, again, without touching me, because that then leverages me. That's like mm. technique, yeah? Just want to see if there's any difference. Go ahead. Now, go ahead. Now, this, go ahead, when you're ready. Go ahead. So you see, this is different than what he was doing. And I'm not really doing anything. Doing anything. You're convinced? Yeah. So are you guys convinced that there is something other than, thank you. Yeah, no thank you very much. So there's something other than what we are in, in physical being, we are represented here. So if that's the case, doesn't that then mean it was my mind, my way of thinking, that changed the equation here? Because I didn't, I didn't hang anything more on me. You were all here. So what changed here? What changed? The use, of your abilities. The use, of your abilities. use of my abilities. Yeah, what ability? Something that wasn't physical, right? Mm -hmm. If it wasn't physical, but my physical being was affected in its performance or it's in reaction, therefore, there must be something else that is actually making my physical being feel, act, react. Because my physical being by itself, power, muscle, wasn't able to stand up to him. A second later, something changed. He couldn't stop, stand up to me, to the physical entity. Couldn't move it. So what was changed? Not physically. Something else. So that something else, obviously, could be the part of the iceberg that's not visible, the invisible part of our being. Mind and body. 